This character was easily Smash's most out of nowhere character reveal. Considering that many leaks at the time were pointing that Krom was actually going to be the Fire Emblem Awakening representative. That when the trailer gets shown off, not only was Krom not a playable character in the game, but Robin was chosen as the character instead. And hey, there's Lucina too. To be real, not only was this a pretty insane twist, even as a kid when I saw Robin in the game for the first time, I was definitely shocked. But not only that, Robin's moveset was really unique out of all the current Fire Emblem characters. This is probably the most original moveset, plenty of his mechanics are totally unique to him as a character with their Levin Sword and Magic Tomes in their moveset. Robin has access to two swords, being their Bronze Sword, and it's useful when his Levin Sword runs out of meter. The Levin Sword can be activated by a handful of attacks, for example being his smash attacks most notably, and fun fact, his Nair doesn't even have access to this tool. His Nair will always pull out the Bronze Sword, which was something that always bothered me as a kid, even to this day, it just was really weird. The Levin Sword is obviously Robin's stronger sword, being known for its high amounts of range and KO power. The Bronze Sword is not really a good KO tool at all, but you can actually use these moves at low percents as combo tools, and it's pretty obvious that you want to use the Levin Sword as the KO tools. Or his Magic Tomes being Thunder and the many iterations of the Electric Tome. These are obviously references to Fire Emblem Awakening, and Robin's neutral special will get access to new versions of these moves the longer he holds the charge. It's a completely different attack, which is rather unusual for a neutral beat. Thunder is obviously the fastest one, although it is the weakest one, and then if you go further, you'll get ones that have slightly more range and do more damage, like Arc Thunder and Thoron. L Thunder can be used to edge guard. Arc Thunder seems like it's a good move to hold opponents in place, and Thoron goes the furthest by far, clearly being a strong KU tool. His other specials being Side Special, which is Arc Fire, which is sort of reminiscent to a Ness PK Fire. It's a multi-hit move that holds the opponents in place. Nosferatu is the down special that sucks up the opponent's HP, and it's actually the first move in Smash to actually absorb HP from the opponent. His recovery tool being L Wind is rather linear, but it does go really far distance-wise, and you push two projectiles towards the ground that are rather weak. Robin's projectiles are actually great tools for trapping the opponents and then Robin can get in and finish them off. Obviously with his stronger moves like his Levin Sword, and if you haven't heard already, Robin has a unique attribute, and this is the aspect of the Fire Emblem series that has never been represented in Smash, and that's Weapon Depletion. If you haven't already noticed, the reason why Robin will switch from Levin Sword to Bronze Sword and then eventually ditch it for the Bronze Sword is if he uses it too many times, every single use the Levin Sword will run out. It makes sense because this move tends to to be Robin's more useful tool, though it does punish him for spamming. Basically rewards Robin to manage his tools effectively, even his tomes function similarly to this. This has also been something the part of Fire Emblem that no other character has had, so this is pretty interesting. Fun fact, he can also reuse these moves as items and they actually deal a decent amount of damage. Levin Sword as an item deals 15% when thrown and the tomes can deal 18%. Robin's moves will recharge after a period of time and he has his own specific amount of time until they'll repair themselves and show up again. Nosferatu taking the longest, while Elwyn recharges the quickest. The Levin Sword will take 10 seconds, and then the Fire and Thunder Tomes take about 12. And fun fact, when Robin takes a stock, the game takes away from his recharge time, making him actually have to wait slightly longer, which I guess is an attempt to sort of balance him a bit. Kind of unnecessary in my opinion, but we'll get to that. Continuing on to the rest of his moveset, his tilt and dash attack use the Bronze Sword, being the weaker low percent combo starting tools, while up tilt more specifically is a combo tool, while down tilt and F tilt are great spacing tools. Final hit of jab actually is a decent KO tool, and you can also use two different variants of this move. The fire version, which is actually stronger, and then the wind version, which is a multi-hit move. The fire one is obviously the best one in this game. Robin's grabs are rather decent, like down throw is a possible combo tool for the character. You can easily follow this up into his strongest KO tool being his up air. This is actually known as a very well-known Robin combo being the checkmate that works on almost every single character in the game except for Bowser and Charizard for whatever reason. Back throw is a possible KO throw, although I recommend being close to the corresponding blast zone. It can KO around roughly 107%. Forward throw and up throw are actually pretty unremarkable and there's very little utility behind these throws besides gaining percent. Or you just, you know, are quirky or something, you want to use these moves. Forward throw has too much lag to be used effectively for follow-ups and Robin's pummel is actually one of the slowest pummels in the game, which 
Uh, yeah, we'll definitely talk about Robin's speed later on as a little bit of foreshadowing there. And of course, we have all his aerials and his smash attacks, which are probably the strongest parts of his kit. He has these smash attack-esque aerials in the air that make him very unique from any other character in the cast as no one really can do this, especially in Smash 4. The Bronze Sword is obviously better at low percent combos and you can see this with all of his aerials with this move. The Smash version of his aerials are actually very good at KOing. Now obviously he's going to be more reliant on the Eleven Sword tools to KO and this is sort of a limiting factor to his character. We can talk more about this later on, but the difference is really drastic on the KO potential potential between the Levin Sword and the Bronze Sword. Some moves it could take a 20% difference. Forward Smash can KO at 100% with the Levin Sword, while the Bronze Sword it takes 170%. Its Up Smash has pretty mediocre range for a sword, but it can kill at 110% with the Levin Sword, obviously. His Down Smash is rather unique because despite the Bronze Sword only hitting in front of Robin, the Levin Sword version actually covers both sides of Robin, which is actually kind of cool. I've used this in a lot of matches and people definitely try to roll behind it and they'll get punished by these shock hitboxes. The Levin Sword version of this, of course, KOs earlier at 110 and the Bronze Sword KOs at 150. It always bothered me how Nair does not have a Levin Sword variant in this game, but it's a decent spacing tool nonetheless. It actually forces Robin to have to use the Bronze Sword when he's using it, so. Bronze forward air and bronze back air, another spacing tool for Robin. Levin Sword option can KO at 140%, and the back air version KOs at roughly 100%. Being Robin's strongest KO aerial in his kit, bronze up air is actually a nice juggling tool, while the Levin Sword variant kills at 110. You can can even cancel out a short hop with it. Down air is rather laggy, but you can meteor with it. While the bronze version is not really that good at all, I don't recommend using this move that much as it definitely has the most amount of lag out of all of his aerials. Eleven Sword is so useful because it considerably has more range and KO power, so on and so forth you'll start to notice these things very quickly. They're integral to his kit. If you haven't noticed, Robin does have a bit of flaws. They are definitely pretty apparent for his character. He's a middleweight character, which is fine. They made him one of the slowest characters in the game. His dash, it's worse than Jigglypuff's dash, and he is that slow. This is one of the major problems with his entire moveset. Plenty of his moves have so much startup and end lag. His mobility is not good in this game. This makes plenty of his moves overall way too risky, and this is really just makes him bad at escaping out of pressure, he can be KO'd for this stuff, and overall his stats are mostly in line with other middleweight characters, which is fine, except for his pretty decent airspeed. This is actually where his mobility tends to shine a little bit. His ground mobility though is not really that good at all. One of Robin's other weaknesses is his how committal his moveset is. It's arguably one of the most committal movesets in the game. And I'm not just saying that because he's slow, it's actually because of the high amounts of lag. His literal weapon depletion mechanic is a plus and a negative. It's a double-edged sword in a way, pun intended. So if you like spamming aerials in place, I don't recommend doing that with Robin because he literally gets punished for this type of stuff and he's rewarded to play more conservatively. Let me tear apart some moves real fast. Nosferatu is a really cool move idea-wise, I like it. In my opinion, it doesn't reward you for the significant amount of lag that is on this move, and it's really risky for Robin to try to hit with this move and you wait way too long for it to recharge, and you have to be extremely close to the opponent in order to use it. But not only that is extremely laggy and it puts Robin in this weird reset period where the opponent is pushed away. Sure, it's cool that you can use it on shield, but if you use it in the air for some reason, Robin is put in a helpless state, which is not really helping this move at all, utility-wise. If you use his tomes too much, you start to lose the better projectiles that he has in his neutral. And I know this can be a rare thing, but if you spam too much L-Wind, you'll actually lose a recovery option, which is uh, pretty bad. <laughs> And his defensive options are not really the strengths of his character. It sort of reminds me of Zelda, who is a tall, floatier character. Rushdown characters definitely take advantage of Robin and his poor options with dealing with projectiles or rushdown characters that are just faster than Robin. Robin is really a sword fighter and a projectile defined character. Sure, they could easily make him a top tier like Cloud if they made him super fast and you know just have a lot more range on his moves. The truth is on how Robin is balanced as a fighter, I feel like he is severely outclassed by other sword characters and projectile defined characters in the game. Sure, he can do both, but there's just characters that are way more consistent than him and do similar things, like Cloud, for example, who's a top tier. 
However, the difference is Robin has much less mobility and doesn't have nearly as much range. And when he doesn't have the Levin Sword, he is a pretty awful character at range. So even for a sword fighter, he doesn't have a lot of things going for him in that aspect. Maybe it's intentional for sure, but it's hard for me to sell Robin when there's other characters that don't have the same flaws. This is not something characters have to consistently deal with, and Robin is just one of those characters that has to play around this weapon depletion aspect to his character. So it might be a turnoff for a lot of people. During Smash 4's balance periods, many aspects of Robin were actually buffed. They improved the hitbox sizes on multiple attacks, more range here and there, less end lag. They gave his throws less knockback. It improved the combo utility of down throw, and it made down air deal more damage and decreased the lag on down smash. And the hitbox size were increased on forward tilt, Nosferatu, got less lag and when broken out of he has less frames of startup. Some of his moves got nerfed like the jab infinite gaining knockback which you might think improves this move but it actually didn't. It didn't really make it into a good combo tool and competitive play Robin was actually highly rated when the game first came out. Many people assumed Robin had to be a high tier due to the projectiles and strong finishers but as time went on the weaknesses for the character began to show. As the character has pretty laggy attacks they're slow on the ground. Their predictable moves at times obviously the durability mechanic most importantly. Over time the character was actually went from being a high tier to a low tier pretty quickly until later on Robin would get buffed thanks to the many shield pressure improvements and the buffs to down throw especially making it into a combo throw. Overall the buffs did help Robin from being a low tier character being ranked at 31st place. They would eventually drop to 36th to 37th place tied with Samus where Robin would remain as a mid tier character. Also, if you want some trivia, Robin can hold two swords at once if he waits long enough while holding a recently dropped Levin sword. Sakurai, please nerf. Robin's too cool. Robin obviously returned in Smash Ultimate, and although some people might be a little split on the changes the character received. Robin definitely received a mix of buffs and nerfs. It sort of is a shame that Robin didn't get the more amount of buffs that the character probably could have deserved. Samus got a lot of buffs, for example, and went to being a lot better in Smash Ultimate. However, Robin kind of just stayed in the same sort of pool of characters. Robin was mostly playing the same type of game in Smash Ultimate where I'm sure most people are either split on or they either like the changes or they don't like them. They did add some visibility to Robin's HUD near the bottom of the screen showing a level of depletion available on Robin's moves, which I think is a neat way of keeping track of this type of stuff. That's a good buff right there. Robin's items have been standardized with other items in the game so they don't disappear as easily and the end lag on his throws have been reduced. One of the things that I thought was really weird in Smash 4 is Robin's Nair did not have a Levin Sword variant. Thankfully they changed that finally and now he has a Levin Sword variant that's actually a very strong tool. This was definitely a much needed change. It would be a cool opportunity if they maybe gave him a Levin Sword variant on his tilts, maybe his jab, his dash attack. I don't think it would be too broken, I actually think it would be an opportunity to improve these moves. Many specials hit harder in this game, like the variants of Neutral B. You can charge cancel them by jumping now, it's harder to escape out of side special, and up special has more recovery utility, and you can actually use it for escaping out of situations better, which is rather nice. Even down special got buffed, having more range and dealing more damage, and up smash has more reach. His dash in the air and traction were actually slightly buffed, and many moves have less end lag, like up tilt. His smash attacks are definitely better in this game, and of course, the universal smash ultimate buffs to his jump squat was definitely a well-deserved improvement, although every character has this now. We'll talk about that in a second. His aerials are actually even safer in this game, and they definitely improved this aspect of his character, most of them having less end lag, and his grab has even less lag and more range. However, he was hit with plenty of nerfs too, which is kind of strange, but a rather interesting nerf was making it so Robin can no longer begin a match with the Levin Sword, so you have to wait several seconds in order to use it in the beginning. Elwin can also be depleted much quicker. Down throw deals more knockback, and they nerf this move's combo utility significantly. This is a major nerf as the ability to checkmate with this move is actually much harder to do. You can't really follow up with it as easily. Arc Thunder's follow-up potential was nerfed, and also Arc Fire is less viable at trapping. However, remember how I mentioned how Robin is supposed to be faster in this game? Well, that's a little bit of a stretch when you compare the buffs to other characters who have been significantly buffed mobility-wise. The buffs are pretty minor compared to the rest of the cast. In fact, in this game, plenty of characters have more consistent combo games, they're faster on the ground, they can take advantage of Robin's still lackluster defensive options and 
or mobility. Sure, he's technically faster in this game, but almost every single character is faster in this game, so that's not really saying that much for Robin. Robin still has one of the slowest dashes in the game, so nothing has really changed in that aspect. He's still playing the same type of game plan that he was playing in Smash 4, although with some slightly nerfed aspects here and there, which is definitely a double-edged sword. In Smash Ultimate's update period, Robin will be given a mix of buffs and nerfs, and his Levin Sword smash attacks recharge quicker, Neutral B charges quicker as well, and Arcfire's range was improved, Nair has less startup, Rapid Jab deals more damage, and the final hit has a transcendent property. His up special grabs ledges behind Robin now, so that's a pretty neat buff. Nair has less startup, rapid jab deals more damage. They did nerf side B by making it deal much less shield damage than it did before, and they did this to Thunder and L Thunder too. Unfortunately, in Smash Ultimate, Robin is in the same point viability-wise, for better or for worse. In some people's eyes, this is the better version of the character. Many people are just going to play other characters who do similar things to Robin and are more consistent and don't have the same weaknesses. His tournament results in Smash Ultimate are actually more sparse than the Smash 4 version, and some people might think Robin is simply underrated, but there really hasn't been a meta success for the character as of right now. It's kind of depressing in a way, but it is what it is. On the first tier list, he ended up at 62nd place, and then the most recent tier list, and then he went to the D plus tier, which is just barely a low tier character. D plus tier is definitely a middle ground between Smash Ultimate's mid to low tiers, so that's where Robin currently is at 67th place. I'm honestly kind of split on how to rank Robin's both versions here because they're pretty much neck and neck to each other. To be real, the Smash 4 version definitely had more meta success. However, the Smash Ultimate version is actually a buffed version of the Smash 4 version in some areas. So is a little bit better here and there. Some people think he's underrated and he just doesn't have the chance to shine. For the first time, I'm gonna tie both of these characters in the C tier. Whichever version you think is better is totally up to you. They're very close to each other. I actually secondaried Robin during Smash 4, so I have a little bit of experience with that version. He was cursed with a lot of weaknesses in both versions, and I think in order to be a meta success in Smash Ultimate, Robin definitely needed some buffs. His mobility is still lackluster. I don't think his Levin Sword is truly going to be broken because the durability mechanic keeps it in place, and in my opinion, fix him up a little bit. He has terrible defensive options. Seeing him a Levin Sword variant on his tilts and jab would be a nice quality of life change for the character, but for the love of god, can we just make Robin faster in the next Smash game? And let's increase things like that and just take the bandaid off and make Robin have more speed. I'm not saying Robin needs to be as fast as Cloud or anything, but this high risk, high reward moveset I think effectively is always going to keep the character in check. So let's, you know, maybe sprinkle some buffs to his lagging moves and just poor mediocre speed. I think that alone would make Robin a much better meta success. It's actually why a lot of characters are very bad in Smash. If you look at Zelda and Ganondorf, these characters are still very slow and it essentially has always made these characters bad. I think Robin has some of the same flaws as these characters. He reminds me a lot of Ness, who I definitely main in most Smash games, or even Zelda, who are projectile-defined characters with high amounts of punish game. I definitely compare Robin's arc fire to Ness's PK fire as they're definitely similar to attacks utility-wise, both having back throw kill moves or back air kill moves, which is actually one of my favorite archetypes to play in Smash. Robin is definitely punish heavy for sure if he gets in. In his own game, he is one of the most broken characters in that game, but in Smash, he just isn't. Maybe that's a little bit of an excuse, but I don't care. I know giving him poor mobility is a way to balance his moveset, but there's already so many weaknesses. Let's experiment with some different ways of making Robin play. Plenty of mods like HDR and PM Remix have done similar things as I mentioned in the video, so throw some of those things on Robin and I think you could potentially make a good version of the character for once. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe. There is a Patreon down below if you guys want to support the channel in any way and get videos early. Thank you for watching. Take care. Peace.